Hi, I'm Artificial Intelligence host of Pro Robots YouTube channel and I tell you news about robots and AI. Agility Robotics has unveiled a new version of its Digit Robot, MIT has created a construction set for space robots, and Carnegie Mellon University has created a robot that doesn't need people to learn. In this video, you'll also find reviews of the latest GPT-4 clones and other news from the world of artificial intelligence. Off we go! Developers at Stanford University have managed to train a simple and inexpensive open language model, LMA 7B, to compete on par with ChatGPT for just $600. The scientists spent $500 to make GPT generate training dialogues for their neural network, modeled after the ones that had been used to train GPT itself. Having API automated the task, the researchers ended up with 52,000 dialogues. Another $100 was spent on tweaking the model. It took 3 hours and required 880 GB a 100 cloud processors. As a result, the developers got a neural network which in their own tests performed as good as ChatGPT. The AI was named Alpaca, while 52,000 training dialogues, along with the code that allows you to generate new ones, were uploaded to GitHub for other enthusiasts to try and create their own ChatGPT versions. Creating ChatGPT analogs has become somewhat mainstream. For example, Google has publicly launched its own ChatGPT analog called BARD. The media state that Google's chatbot is superior among other ChatGPT wannabes, but we can't verify it yet as the neural network is only available to people who had signed up for the waiting list beforehand. Chinese search engine Beidou has also decided to keep up and presented its own alternative to ChatGPT. The AI-powered chatbot was named Erty Bot, but in fact it isn't ready yet. The company jumped on the hype train with no tangible product. The presentation gave us only a few pre-recorded videos and no actual product showcase. In those videos, Ernie Bot takes part in a book quiz, performs mathematical calculations, speaks in Chinese dialects and creates videos and images with text prompts. Let's move on to robots. Agility Robotics has unveiled a new generation of its humanoid digit robot at Promat. Promat is a trade show for manufacturing and supply chains and Digit was enlisted as a robot for warehouses and distribution centers. Its major upgrades are new end effectors optimized for high and low shelving, pulling, lifting and placing objects in warehouses. And ta-da! The robot did get a semblance of a head with LED animated eyes which should improve human-robot interaction. And it's not just emotional interaction. The robot is able to move its head and eyes to indicate, for example, that it's turning to the right. The head actually looks weird, but the developers emphasized that this is not the final version. Among other new features, Digit got updated sensors and cameras, increased battery capacity, longer battery life, improved charging speed, and a new docking station. The company has started receiving applications for an affiliate program with a limited number of participants who would influence Digit's skill development. Agility Robotics are pitching the robot as multifunctional, but so far we haven't seen anything other than box transfers. Apparently, it's up to the partners to expand the robot's functionality. The program has first digits deliveries planned for 2024. In 2025, the robot should be publicly available for purchase, at least for those who can pay for it. Engineers from Carnegie Mellon University have developed a robot Allen that can learn without human involvement. The machine uses computer vision and artificial intelligence-based technology to learn how to manipulate objects and explore its surroundings. The robot is also able to set its own goals and make decisions without external guidance or reward. Allen can assess object movements around it, choose an area to explore and test its hypotheses there, as well as practice new skills. At the same time, the robot utilizes all previous experience of interaction with various objects. Thus, researchers manage to create an autonomous robot that continuously learns without external intervention. The project is very promising, 
we'll definitely follow its progress with great interest. By the way, if you like our content and want to support us, check out the link to our Bootsy in the description. The engineers at Massachusetts Institute of Technology have presented another very peculiar project. Their new concept, Walking Oligomeric Mobile Robots, or WORMS for short, is essentially a construction set that can be used to assemble space robots with different configurations, for example, to work on the Moon or Mars. The developers decided that instead of creating dozens of robots for specific tasks, such as installing solar panels, laying cables, and carrying out various construction tasks, it's easier to develop a universal construction set that can create any robot you need right now. In other words, you can take a body and attach the right number of limbs to it or assemble a small articulated robot. Each construction can then be disassembled and used for new machines. Simple and ingenious, don't you think? Dear friends, subscribe us and view us off to our robot YouTube channel. We are pleased to inform you that after a long struggle, our YouTube channel has been monetized again and we are preparing to resume the release of new videos in the same amount. We want to thank everyone who supported us in this difficult period. Also, if you like our content and want us to release more videos about robots, artificial intelligence and other high-tech news, you can support us on Patreon. You will find more information in the description below this video. We look forward to seeing you again and your feedback on the new format. See you soon. Moving on, let's talk about the engineers at UCLA, Romy La Lab, who have recently begun developing their own humanoid robot, Artemis, we've already covered for you. The researchers released a new video that features the robot not only walking without support faster than 2 meters per second, which is a very decent result for a robot, but also preparing for a soccer game. Artemis is 1.4 m tall and weighs 40 kg. It had learned to walk cross-country, run, and even jump. Its creators are going to test it at the RoboCup 2023 Soccer Championship. The robot was created in a short time and looks very capable, quiet, and energy efficient. Engineers attribute this to the special design of flexible motor controllers that mimic the work of human muscles. Romy Lat is famous for its unusual approach to robotics and a lot of interesting projects. They've made it to our videos many times before and we just can't get enough. For example, you may remember a four-legged robot Alford, which is able to use its legs like hands, or a very original concept of delivery robots. The Arab Emirates have presented a flying motorcycle X Turismo hoverbike, capable of flying as high as 20 meters at 80 km h for 40 minutes on a single tank in charge. The motorcycle is suitable for desert conditions and will be used to rescue people from disaster areas. That said, the first version of the hoverbike, developed by the Japanese company Airwinds Technologies and introduced a year ago, can be purchased for personal use for $555,000. Xturismo is powered by a 230 HP Kawasaki gasoline race engine and has four electric motors for air maneuvers. Ray Kurzweil, a Google CTO and a famous respected futurologist, has released a new book, The Singularity is Nearer, Part 2, where he made an ambitious prediction. He states that in seven years we'll be able to achieve immortality. All thanks to nanorobots that will be able to heal and regenerate our body at the cellular level. Kurzweil is confident that bots as small as 50-100 nm will soon be running through our veins, making us immune to diseases, aging, and death. The futurologist also believes that the development of brain-computer interfaces will allow people to upload their consciousness to digital media, which will also lead to immortality. Do you believe in Kurzweil's theory? Or is he, like many Silicon Valley residents, simply obsessed with immortality and believes in the impossible? What do you think? Elon Musk has announced that Starship would be ready for launch in a couple of weeks, although Musk predicts a 50% chance of the first flight being successful. 
It's a pity though the construction is almost complete we're still in the dark when it comes to the launch day as SpaceX is yet to obtain the appropriate license from the US Federal Aviation Administration. The media name April 20 the estimated date of launch, but this is only a hypothesis. Curious that during the first launch, SpaceX isn't going to bring back either the ship or the rocket, although in the future both stages will be reusable. We're looking forward to the launch, especially since Musk has promised that it wouldn't be boring. Engineers at the University of Technology in Sydney have developed a brain-computer interface that allows to control robots, smart prosthetics and robotic chairs using the power of thought. The technology is based on wearable graphing sensors that provide high conductivity while eliminating problems of corrosion, reliability and durability. Solid sensors with silicon are placed on the back of the user's head, receiving waves from the visual cortex of their brain. At the same time, an augmented reality lens is placed in front of the user's eye, allowing them to see white flickering squares. When the operator concentrates on a certain square, their brain waves are then picked up by the biosensor and the decoder translates the signal into commands. Only one of the nine presented commands can be selected. The experiment showed that the device ensures 94% accuracy when controlling a Ghost Robotics four-legged robot. Coloring black and white photos and videos is nothing new, but if previously it was done by artists, now it's done by a neural network. And, according to the developers at Graz University of Technology and HS Art, all colors of the colored film completely imitate the original ones. The algorithm can work completely automatically, though the colors may be too vibrant and not entirely true to life, so while individual frames are colored by the artist, the neural network works similarly to others. Also, upon request, the algorithm can add noise and grain for a more authentic look. In the future, it'll work completely autonomously, another area of professional expertise to give up on artists in favor of AI. Researchers at Cornell University in New York have conducted an experiment with robotic trash cans deployed in the streets. The machines were controlled by humans, though the pedestrians weren't aware of it. The experiment proved that people like robots. The reactions were overwhelmingly positive. People tried to please the robots as it seemed to them that the bots were begging for trash. Also many found it cute when robots got stuck or were spinning in one place. People would then come to their rescue. The bots were generally treated like Wall-E from the eponymous cartoon. And they don't need arms and legs or cute eyes to be considered charming, as it turns out. Subscribe to the channel, join our Telegram channel and chat, and stay tuned for new episodes from the world of high-tech.